Nowadays, stretch resolution is very important when it comes to Fortnite, with many pros using it like Peterbot, Mongrel, Flix, Martaz, Booga, and many others. But the process to get stretch res or change your stretch resolution is often very complicated and can't even be done on certain graphics cards. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get stretch resolution super easy if you're either uncomfortable with changing around your settings or you just don't have the right type of graphics card. But before I get into showing you how to get stretch resolution, I'm going to talk about the sheer importance and all the advantages you get with stretch resolution. First of all, since stretch resolution actually removes some of the pixels from your screen, it actually gives you more frames. It may not seem like it would matter that much for 30 extra frames, but just remember Switch players play on 30 FPS, and when you're at such a high level of playing field, getting 30 more FPS can actually help out in certain situations. But next, it actually makes character models easier to hit because they're wider visually on the screen. And anyways, as you can see, the wall is much wider on stretched res than it is on a normal 1920 by 1080 resolution. Even though it might not seem like it, because of the FPS advantages earlier, it can actually help with ping for the same reason. Obviously I have pretty low ping, but it's actually not at zero when I don't have the stretch resolution on. And as you can see, now my ping is at zero with the stretch resolution on. For me, it obviously didn't make too much of a difference, but the higher ping you're at, the bigger of the difference it'll make. But with pros come some cons. First of all, let's talk about the FOV issue. In OG Fortnite, you used to actually get more FOV with stretch resolution. Fortnite though decided to take this out because it was too overpowered and had too much of an advantage on console players and just PC players that didn't want to get stretch res. Now that it's out of the game, it only has one main con, which is actually that it takes away your FOV. But many people still believe that it's actually more useful to have it than not. But now that you know if you do or don't want stretch resolution, I'm going to show you the easiest way to get it. So all you actually need to do is either go to the link in the description or just google alpha res and click on this first link that says Bray Carlson. Then either if you click the link or went to the website, you'll be on this page right here. And you're going to want to scroll down and click on releases. After that, you're just going to want to download this first link right here that says x64.exe and just save it to anywhere in your files. Then once you open up the application and it's actually on your desktop right here, what you want to do is just put in what stretch resolution you want. I'll pop some popular ones up on the screen right now so that you can just choose from those if you don't feel like researching it. For me, I'm going to go for a pretty subtle 1720 by 1080 and then all you have to do is put in the FPS you have on your monitor and then put in what mode you want to play on, but it only actually works on full screen and glitches out on the other two. So just click on full screen mode, check read only, and click apply. Now the next time you open up Fortnite, it actually changed all the settings for you, and you'll already have stretched resolution. And then once you're back in game, you can actually see from the lobby it's already stretched res. Anyways, if this video was useful to you, like the video, and if you like my videos, make sure to subscribe.